My mother was a singer, folk and standards, Broadway too. Nuts for all things Irish, even though she was a Jew. You say you never knew her. She's been gone for years, it's true. But I swear, if there's a heaven, she is up there telling everyone that she, of course, knows you. And who you should have married, and what you paid for your apartment, and how your, music, your life would make a really awesome Broadway show. You see, she never met a stranger, at least not that I could tell. Everyone was just a new best friend she didn't know that well. She would make them tell their stories, things they never thought they'd share. Cause no one was a stranger when Jane was there. My mother was a fighter. She fought hard for workers' rights. She'd boycott grapes and lettuce and stuff envelopes all night. She taught me sweet compassion, also how to stand my ground. And I swear, if there's a heaven, she is organizing cherubim to tear the system down. Because religion is the opiate of the people, Mom, I know, right on. See, she never knew a stranger. Uh, you, no one ever walked alone. Of course, no one ever walked at all. If Jane could drive them home, in your, her car you'd tell your stories. That was how you paid your fare. Because no one was a stranger when Jane was there. It's true. My mother invented Uber. She didn't know it, but she did. She'd drive around the Upper West Side of Manhattan in a large station wagon. By the way, you don't need a car in New York at all. But my mother had a station wagon, and she'd drive up and down the West Side, and she would see somebody trying to hail a cab, and she'd pull over, and she'd say, where are you going? And they'd, they'd say, huh? <laughs> she'd say, get in. I'll take you where you're going. And they'd go, why? And she'd say, why not? Of course, if you do have an Uber, like today when we do Lyft and Uber and everything, it's unlikely that the Uber driver is going to invite you over for coffee on your way to where you're going, and very unlikely that they're going to tell you, bring the whole family up to the country next summer. Why? Why not? It's true. She left the drawers unsorted and the paperwork undone. She wasn't much for self-control and all for having fun. At times, this made me crazy. So at times, I made her wrong. She just ignore my crazy. And patiently, she'd sing to me. And soon enough, I'd have to see. Along. Up on the hillside by the shaling, Mo Mary, my beloved. Last night by the shaling, Mo Mary, my beloved. Mo Mary, Mo Lanin, Mo Mary, my beloved, on the hillside by the shaling, Mo Mary, my beloved. My mother was a dreamer with a hopeful half full cup. She dreamed she'd have a big career someday when she grew up. She had these dreams at 85, <laughs> but that was no concern. And I swear, if there's a heaven, 
She is up there dreaming of what she'll be. Someday when she returns, cause she's coming back. She made sure we knew that. And we'd say, Mom, don't talk about dying. She'd say, oh, stop, everyone dies. And I can hear her now. She's saying, listen, it's not that big a deal. I'm coming back, first of all. And second of all, I am having such a good time here. I am meeting the most interesting people. For instance, did you know that the, the woman who originally made Bella Abzug's hats had a daughter who went to Queens College, which was very close to Brooklyn College, which was where your friend Mara Beckerman went to school, and they might have actually known each other, I don't know. Why? Why not? See, she never knew a stranger. You were hers before, hello. Even though you had no time to talk and really had to go. Oh no, you would sit and tell your stories in that beat up easy chair. Cause no one was a stranger when Jane was there. And now everyone knows everyone in heaven and also all their not-so-heavenly affairs. Cause no one is a stranger up in heaven now that Jane is there. Thanks. I got to be Hillary's mother for 36.